Hey y'all, Mel here with Work For Your Beer. And I'm Kayla with NC Yoga Bar. Today we're doing an all levels yoga class that you can do at home. All you need is a mat and a block or a case of beer. All right, ready everybody? Before we start, let's take a, close your eyes. Take a big breath in. Open your mouth, sigh it out. Let's do that one more time. Inhale fully. Sigh it out. Bring your hands, palms to touch the center of your heart. Tuck your chin, close your eyes. Let's take a collective breath, inhale fully and sigh out. One more time, inhale and exhale. Gently flutter your eyes open. On your next inhale, sweep your fingertips all the way up. Look up and reach up. As you exhale, forward fold, wide arms. Take an inhale as you halfway lift, lengthen through your spine. Exhale, palm the mat and step back for a high plank. Pause here for just a moment. Spread your fingers wide. Take a breath at the top. And as you exhale, lower your knees down and start to flow through some cat and cows. Inhale, lift across your chest. Exhale, curl the shoulders toward the sky. Pull your navel in and use the breath to move through these motions. Move with your breath. As you're engaging these motions, start to turn on your ujjayi breathing. Press the lips together. Breathe in through the nose and out through the nose creating that hollow ocean wave sound through the back of your throat. Keep spreading the fingertips wide. On your next exhale, push your shoulders up and pause here. Pull the tummy in. Take a big breath in. As you exhale, slowly drop the chest and take an inhale into cow pose. Slowly come to a stable tabletop. Ground down through the left hand. Inhale, reach the right hand all the way up. Pull the core in as you exhale. Drop down to that shoulder. Thread the needle. You can take any variation here. Maybe walk the left arm long. Take a low back bind. Stay here and continue to open across your shoulders, keeping your hips squared toward the back of your mat. Shoulders rotating open creating space across the front of your chest, across your heart. Stay with us one more big inhale. Exhale out, ground down through the left hand, start to root down and lift back up, right hands reaching back up to the sky. Take the line of vision up to match. Exhale down into tabletop. Inhale the left hand up, look up, reach. As you exhale, weave through, thread into the needle. Keep those hips squared toward the back of the mat. Again, find any variation or bind that feels good here. Notice how it feels on this side compared to the other. Honor where your body is. Breathe into that right shoulder opening across your chest. Take one more inhale here, exhale out. Right hand comes down, press into it. Inhale the left hand all the way back up. Hands come down, find tabletop. Pull your knees in alignment under your hips. Tuck your toes, take an inhale, lift the knees to hover. Take an inhale at the top and as you exhale, downward facing dog. Pedal out, just like you're walking your dog. Feel how your Achilles tendon can stretch. Check in with the tops of your feet and your toes. Maybe drop your hips right to left. Keep spreading your fingers wide, melting the chest closer to the thighs. And start to float into a static downward facing dog. On an inhale, press up onto your toes. Exhale, melt the heels down. Tiptoe yourself toward the top of the mat for a forward fold. 
Good place for your block or your case of beer if you'd like. Let the heart melt over the chest, soften through the knees. Use what you have at home as a prop to support your practice. Release any bind you have, move your prop out of the way, soften the knees, inhale, roll yourself up one vertebrae at a time. And when you get to the top, inhale the fingertips up to touch. As you exhale, sit back and down for chair pose. Keep lifting through the chest, pull the tummy into the spine. On an inhale, root down through the right foot, start to lift through the left knee, step it back for crescent lunge. Inhale the fingertips up toward the sky, root down through your feet, soften through your shoulders. Take a big inhale, open to warrior two. Sink into that right front knee. Check in with the alignment, see if you can see your toe over the right knee. Inhale back for peaceful warrior, reach long through the side body. Take a big breath in, reach here. Side angle, right arm comes to the top of the thigh, your block or your prop. Find the scale that works for you. Tuck the tailbone in and reach with the chest, the vision, and the left hand. Left hand comes down, twist out, revolve side angle, press up onto that right foot, lift the back heel. Take a big inhale. As you exhale, forward fold, top of the mat, step the left foot forward. Grab opposite elbows and sway, rag doll. See if you can sink that weight into your toe mound. Release any bind you have. Start to roll the spine up, all the way up to stand at the top. Your fingertips touch. Sitting back and down, chair pose, chest stays high, energetically hug into center line. Start to ground down through the left foot, slightly lifting the right heel, step back, crescent lunge. Land softly, lift through the hands, shoulders melt down, strengthen through your legs, take an inhale. As you exhale, warrior two. Take a peek at that left toe, find the alignment. Sink into your hips a little deeper. Inhale back, peaceful warrior. Reach long. Finding side angle, float into it. Reach the right hand up and over. Take the line of vision up. Take an inhale. Revolve side angle, right hand comes down. Twist the left hand up and open. Press into the back toe mound. Yeah, use your props. Support yourself throughout the practice. Left hand comes down, step to the top of the mat, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, palm the mat, step back, high plank. Pull the right knee to your nose for cheetah. Hug in and puff up through your shoulders. Drop the right knee down, supported side plank. Roll the body open. Look up and lift up if you'd like. You can lift the back leg or take a bind, whatever feels good to you here. Gently releasing. Left hand comes down, rolling right into the other side. Find tabletop for a moment and then flip the body open. Right side reaches up. Press down into the earth to lift up through the side body. Keep your vision high. Maybe take a bind or extend on this side if it feels nice. Release it long. Come into tabletop. Tuck the toes, inhale, lift up, press into the earth. Take an inhale. As you exhale, downward facing dog and pedal out. One more little flow on each side here. Inhale the right toes high, three point. Take a bend in the knee, flex through the foot. Keep the shoulders squared toward the top of the mat. Lift the right knee higher. Step through, crescent lunge. Root down through your feet and rise through the chest. 
Take an inhale, warrior two. Inhale back, peaceful warrior. Lengthen through the side body. Side angle, float into it, props if you'd like. Revolve side angle, left hand down, right hand opens up. Adding on just a standing little twist here. Start to bring the left leg to the back of the right for kundalini twist, a good place for your prop under that left hand, hug the thighs together, keep the twist ringing out through center line. Slowly find a forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, palm the mat, step back, high plank. Pull the left knee to your nose for cheetah. Get really strong, puff up through your shoulders. Drop the left knee down, supported side plank. Roll the body open, use your obliques, lift up. Take a bind or extend the leg here. Maybe open the heart a little deeper. Right hand comes down, fine tabletop. Left side, peel the body open. Rooting down to lift up. You have one more little flow on the left side. Reach for the sky. Left hand comes down, tabletop. Lower the knees, chest and chin. Come through upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale back, downward facing dog. Left toe sweep high, three point. Place a bend in that knee. Flex the foot. Lift the left knee higher. Step through, crescent lunge, get really strong. Press into the mat, lift up through the heart. Open for warrior two. Inhale back for peaceful warrior. Float into side angle. Take a big breath in here, sigh it out. Right hand comes down, twist it out. Revolve side angle, press into that back toe mound, lift up through your legs. Actively pulling everything into center alignment. Finding that kundalini twist. Find the block, find your prop, pull the right knee in behind the left and twist back open. Left hands reaching up. Squeeze your thighs together. Take a big breath in. As you exhale, forward fold. Set your prop aside. Inhale, halfway lift. Press into the shins, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, fold. Do that one more time. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, palm the mat, step back, high plank. Pause here. Tailbone in alignment. Take an inhale. As you exhale, flow through your version of a vinyasa. Inhale through upward facing dog or cobra. Melt into child's pose. Knees go wide. Sink the chest and the heart. If you'd like, you can bring your hands into prayer behind your low neck. And just take a second to align. Find your breath. Feel yourself arriving here on your mat. Take a deep inhale and sigh it out. Do that once more, inhale and exhale. Release your hands down. If you'd like, you can take puppy pose, melting the chest, lifting through the hips. Close your eyes or soften your gaze. and slowly walk your way back. Come up to seated, hips over the heels. Inhale the fingertips all the way up. We'll take a twist toward the right. Left hand comes, right knee. Inhale, lengthen to the spine as you exhale, twist deeper. Use that with each breath. Inhaling, length, exhaling, twist. On your next inhale, come back through center, reach the fingertips all the way up and twist toward the left. Connect the right hand to the knee. 
If this is strenuous on your knees or your hips, you can always use your prop under your hips or sit in an easy seat. Inhale, come back through center fingertips, touch. As you exhale, come down to a forearm tabletop and step the feet back to a low plank. Take a breath in, press into the shoulders. And as you exhale, slowly lower the knees all the way down to the mat. We'll take a creative cobra at the bottom, press into your fingertips and inhale, roll through the spine. You can close your eyes here and tap into what feels really nice. Maybe you start to roll into your shoulders or your knees, dropping one from the right to the left. Just snake around on your mat. Check in with what feels good to you. And when you're ready, press the hands under the shoulders. Come back to an easy seat. And we'll take a breath here, inhale fully, and sigh out. Do that one more time, inhale, and exhale. Slowly bring the bottoms of your feet together for Baddha Konasana. You've got some options here. You can take your fingers to your big toes and just melt the heart over using the elbows to connect to the knees for a hip opener. You can always rock back and lift the chest. If you'd like to play with a full extension, you can find a heart opener, pressing the heels up and opening across the chest. Keep lifting through your heels, lifting through your heart. And gently come back through center. Plant both feet down, hands come behind you. Press into the mat, feet hip width apart. On an inhale, lift your hips for reverse tabletop. Let your chest drop open, your chin fall back if it feels good for your neck. Pull the core in. Take a big breath in. Open your mouth and sigh it out. Let it go. Slowly melt the hips down. We'll cross the right leg over. You can heel toe the left foot in for a deeper stretch here. You can keep your hands behind you for a little bit of support, or if you'd like, you can hug the knees, pulling them closer to your chest. Just keep lifting through the heart, breathing into that right hip. Stay with your breath. We'll slowly release that right leg down, cross the left leg over. And one more time, you can heel toe the foot in, leave the hands behind you. You can use your props there for support, or you can hug the thighs, breathing into the left thigh. Feel free to hold these longer if you need. Slowly release the left leg down. Walk your toes out ahead. Let your palms reach forward, flip the palms up. Put a C-curve in the spine and slowly lean back. You can keep your knees and feet grounded or lift them up. Just a few seconds of core work here before we come down to our backs. Keep lifting up through the chest, lifting higher, rooting down, finding your strength. If you're shaking, you're doing the work. Keep building the strength. Slowly lower all the way down. Yeah, use your props. Take a full body stretch. And when you're ready, windshield wiper those knees right to left. And just let those knees fall over to the left. Find a supine twist. Take your gaze to the opposite side, arms to a T or in fill goal pose. Take a breath in and sigh it out. Gently take your knees to the other side. You can windshield wiper your way through if it feels nice to your low back. Drop those knees to the right, gaze to the left. And one more time, steady your breath with an inhale and an exhale. 
When you're ready, hug your knees into your heart. Say your name internally, and then say, I love you. Say your name internally, and say, you're so freaking strong. Slowly start to melt your legs toward the mat, coming into your final resting pose. Let your palms flip up, your shoulders melt back and down. Close your eyes and take one more clearing breath if you need it. Know that the movement and the stillness have equal benefits. Take time to rest just as you take time to move. Reward yourself with whatever feels comfortable and supportive. Movement and stillness combined equal balance. Thank yourself for balancing out. Thank yourself for loving. Thank yourself for your strength. Thank yourself for being you. Slowly start to wake up your body, small movements. Take whatever motions you need to come up to a comfortable seat. We'll meet in an easy seat with our hands at our heart. Palms touch, Anjali Mudra. Let your shoulders sink back and down. On your next inhale, bring your fingertips up. Let your thumbs touch your third eye. Close your eyes. See yourself in strength. See yourself in love. See yourself in balance. Take a breath in. As you exhale, we bow. From my heart to your heart, namaste. Solid. <laughs> you guys, this is a flow that you can do at home at your own pace. Make sure you're using props and supporting yourself, taking water as needed. If you would like to repeat this sequence or add on, feel free to do so. That's a quick 20 minute class that will give you some mobility and get you sweating. Thank you guys so much for doing this flow with us. If you wanna see more videos, make sure you like, subscribe, follow us at Work For Your Beer. And of course, uh, thank you so much to Kayla for teaching and we'll see you guys soon.